it, shouldn't the FBI be the FBOI? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why would we all F boy? <laughs> yeah, F boy. F boy. Uh, FPFI. Greg. Yeah. As we continue on this Friday morning, we got a uh, dumbass contest ready to go for you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Let's play the D U I Q. Yeah. D U I Q. Uh, Seabass hits the streets talking to drunk people. We get a contestant on the phone, one of you, to maybe win a prize. 877-44 Woody. Let's go to uh, Mike. Hey, Mike. good morning, Mike. How are you? Hey, Mike. Boy, Woody Show. Boy, Boy. And happy Friday to you, sir. All right, so you're going to play the DUIQ. Seabass is going to explain the game to us, and then... We're going to have a little clip to get to know the drunk person a little bit before we get into the questions that matter. That way you have a better idea just how with it or not with it that drunk person is. And uh, who do we have here, Seabass? This is Helena, and you're going to hear from her how cool she is, what she's pounding, because pounding drinks makes you cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> and her thoughts on alcohol. All right. Here is Ooh. Helena. I have had shots. I've had a buzz. Uh, no, a beatbox. And I've had an AMF. Beatbox, wow. not buzz ball. Why? <laughs> the buzz ball gets you drunker quicker, but because we were having a longer drive, we chose to do the beatbox instead. People say, oh, buzz ball is trashy. What do you say to those folks? I say that they need to go suck their own <laughs> because that's an actually crazy accusation. <laughs> yeah, if you crazy. would like to get drunk quickly, you should drink something less with more percentage. So you think they drink buzz balls at like the Met Gala? <laughs> you know, Bella Hadid should honestly get on the buzz ball gang. Bella Hadid has things to learn. What, yeah. What's the other thing? The what box? Well, uh, beatbox. beatbox. So it's uh, beatbox has exploded. Yeah, yeah which is what? Yeah. What it's is it? Same idea. Yeah. It's low, uh, low calorie. Some not all, always, but sometimes. And it's uh. and it's in a larger it's one of those you know like the cardboard bo boxes. boxed waters come in like uh, the waxy yeah. boxes. Okay. Yeah. What's it's, what's the booze? What it's is it? For, uh, what uh, probably malt liquor, quite frankly. Okay. Uh, beatbox, eleven percent alcohol. Buzzball only fifteen percent, so not far off. Hmm. But to her point, oh yeah. Getting trashed real fast. How is that not classy? No, no, you got to do yeah. it yeah. real fast. That way you won't remember the rest of the evening. You yes. Know? Yeah. And an adios on top of that. Yeah. <laughs> Shots. What's the point of getting wasted really fast and not remembering it? It's like uh, falling asleep during a massage. Yeah. That sucks. Well, if you black out, you won't mm. always black out and not no. remember. Not always. Uh, Mike, so that is our friend Helena. You're going to try to guess whether she knows the answers to these questions. You get two out of three, you'll be the winner. Of this round of the DUIQ, and here we go with question number one. The CDC is short for what governmental organization? All right, now we're guessing for fun. Okay. Just here with uh, Sammy and Menace. Uh, let's see, CDC. I'll start. Uh, I will say Sammy will know, Menace will not know. And I'll say that uh, Helena will not know. I'm going triple no. Triple no. All right. Uh, Morgan, what do you think? Uh, I'm going to go yes for Menace and Sammy, no for Helena. Oh, babe. All right. Uh, and then uh, Sammy and Menace, what do you think about Helena? Do you think that she's going to get it? No. Nah. No? All right, Mike, uh, what's your guess on Helena? Will she get it? Uh, triple no. Triple no. Right. Even for Menace and Sammy. Wow. All right, let's start here. Question <laughs> number one. The CDC is short for what governmental organization? Menace. Controlled Drug Council. Controlled Drug Council. Sammy. <laughs> the Congressional Democratic Convention. Are you serious? <laughs> wow. uh, yeah, I have no Centers idea. Centers for Disease Control. Oh, yeah. It was oh. kind of in the news yeah, for, for a long years. time. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. What? You know, oh, what I, was uh, yours again? Oh, the Democratic Convention? Congressional. Congressional, Congressional Democratic, Democratic Convention. Convention. At least I was kind of close. Menace is on topic, at least. Yeah, at least yeah. I know... What like, would it involve? I, yeah. Okay. How do they Disease get up and like I don't know. walk out the door? Get <laughs> that's pretty easy. <laughs> that yeah. was it. Yeah, I thought that one was an easy putt. So does yeah. so is knowing what the CDC is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see if uh, Helena knows it. Question number one: The CDC is short for what governmental organization? Clinical department. No, it's C. Ellie. <laughs> Your friend said medical. <laughs> Clinical department of. I don't want to say corrections, but Cor possibly. Possibly. <laughs> possibly. <laughs> Incorrect. Way Incorrect. to go, Mike. All right, Mike, nice. you're on the board. You got uh, your first point here on the DUIQ. Shouldn't it be C O D C? They don't count the O for what of. Do you mean? Oh, okay. Yeah. Never... Both of you explain that. Right. Well, first of all, it centers for, isn't it for? <laughs> yes. Not uh, of. Oh. And they never put the ofs or the thes. Conjunctions right. and, yeah. or modifiers, I should say. 
Okay. Yeah, We're man. just asking. All right. Like, fair enough. What, shouldn't the FBI be the FBOI? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why would we all cash? F-boy? <laughs> yeah, F-boy. F-boy. Uh, F-P-F-I, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> all right, question number two, Mike, here on the D-U-I-Q. Don Quixote was written in what language? All right. Hmm. I will say I, uh, a couple of years ago, actually, for the first time, read voluntarily Don Quixote, and it's damn funny. Yeah? Is it? It is. Oh, it. It is. Uh, it's, now, what made you pick that up and read it? It was, well, not pick it up. It's on Audible. Not a sponsor, but sure as hell could be Audible. Audible.com. Came up my recommendations. I said, oh, you know Don Quixote? I'll check that out. Threw it in the uh, the old queue, and it's it's quite hilarious. It makes, it makes fun of a mentally ill man, basically, and how he runs around, I won't say where, oh. uh, you know, pretend like having hallucinations, essentially. Yeah. And he, re- he okay, now it's he, coming he back He organizes a, bit, a merry band of other idiots. Yeah. And, and and they're kind of making fun of him, but are they also stupid? And he's, how dumb is he? Is he going to get hurt? It's it's very it's like mm. it's <laughs> like old timey funny. It's like old timey uh, whack pack. Oh, All right, okay. you know, which is uh, also now old timey. Yeah. Right. Question again. <laughs> Don Quixote was written in what language? All right, uh, Greg, what do you think on this I'm, one? I'm thinking well, yes to Menace, and yes to Sammy, and then no to Helena. So, All right. Yes in here, uh, no out there. Morgan, what do you think? I got to go triple no on this one. Triple no. I'm going to wow. go triple no as well. See, I was leaning triple yes, but... No, I think, uh, if anything, Menace will know it. Because of his literary background. Yeah. Right. He's just a <laughs> voracious reader. Yeah. No, I think he'll luck into it. Vigorous reader, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mike, what do you think? Mike. Well, no again. I'm sorry, your phone broke up. What? Triple no again. Triple, triple no, no again. again. All right, just to make clear. All right, question number two, D-U-I-Q. Don Quixote was written in what language? Sammy. Japanese. Japanese. Menace. Italian. Italian, both oh, incorrect. Oh, my God. I can't believe I double Morgan, guess. what's the answer? <laughs> is it Spanish? It's Spanish. It okay. It's kind of in the name, is it not, guys? Come on. No, it's, it's yeah, the well, famous Japanese name Quixote. <laughs> <laughs> and look at Morgan. Quixote-san. Look at Morgan using context clues to Thank solve you. problems. That's, That's like, why yeah. I figured like Menace would luck into it. No. Right. He, would, he doesn't know anything about Spanish. Also, I failed Spanish. I mean, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Poquito. Well, how was it? And I knew that he, that Seabass was trying to learn Japanese, so then I thought, oh, maybe that's why he was no. interested in this book. And that's, so you, yeah. I, that's no, I initially, oh. no, no, a, a thousand percent being honest here. I initially thought Spanish, but I'm like, oh, maybe he's trying to make fun of Sammy mm. well, on what? the Italian side for some reason. So I put Italian. <laughs> oh, you overthought it. Oh, see, yeah. I, I, yeah. I did a better job making fun of her because she actually took Spanish. Yeah. Well, and you would think okay. that'd, be the, that'd be the one book they give you. Now, yeah. Mike uh, guessed that uh, Helena would not get this one. He said another triple no. So if this ends up being a correct guess for Mike, he'll be the winner of the DUIQ. Question number two. Don Quixote was written in what language? Don Quixote? Um, Latin? Do we know for sure? Yes. <laughs> Do you know what Don Quixote is in general, what it's about? I do. <sighs> oh. Is it Shakespeare? Shakespeare. Yeah. yeah, well, uh, hey, Mike, congratulations. You are the winner. Nice. Here on the DUIQ. The only thing I remember was, didn't he think windmills were right, creatures? Right, jousting at windmills. And that's then the... he <laughs> had a sidekick, Sancho Panza or something. Sancho like something. Uh, Panzo, Panzo I think it was. Well, Mike, congratulations. And... Uh, we're going to put you back on hold so that uh, Morgan get all your information and you can get yourself your prize. But thank you so much for listening to The Woody Show, dude. Have yourself a great weekend. Hello. Good job, you Mike. You too. Thank you, Woody Show. All right. It's like, bye. Bye. Hi, bye. bye. Suck it, Woody. You suck it, sir. Did it come out at the same time as uh, Shakespeare? Early 1600s? Yeah. What is the Poncho guy's name? Poncho, Poncho. right? Yeah. Sancho what Panza. Sancho Panza. Okay. Yeah. Poncho all right. Sancho? Question number three. Yeah. For the DUIQ, which Mike did not need, but we're going to play for fun. Question number three is... If you're talking about the USSR, what do any of those letters represent? Any of them. I'm giving you any one. You could really look into this one. All right. The U, the S, the S, or the R. In English, of course. Right. right. I'm going to say... uh, Wow. Uh, Helena, no. Sammy, no. Menace. (laughs) <laughs> They've been really stepping on rakes. <laughs> wham, wham. I, That's did, funny. Were they over three last week too? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Well, uh, I, mm. All right, well, tri- yeah, triple no, wrong. triple no. Greg Gory. There's two in there that I think are just such easy putts, but I'm gonna s- say triple no, triple no. After that Japanese one. <laughs> yeah. Morgan, what do you think? Triple no for sure. Triple no. 
Menace and Sammy both look like they're still working over yeah. there. Uh, do you think that uh, Helena's going to get it? No. No? Menace? No. And no. I think I know what letter they're going to get wrong. Oh. But we only have to pick one letter. They yes, get one I know, letter. but I yeah. think you're going to take one of those letters and say the wrong thing, and I know which one. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> Here's a clue, <laughs> can, by the can, way. Can you take a shot? Don't even give me a clue. Can you yeah. take a shot of the whole thing? The oh. whole thing? Oh, yeah. For sure. yeah, for sure. We want to hear that. For yeah, sure. yeah, 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 for sure. Oh. Right, if you need, if you need a couple more seconds to. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna need some more. Well, this this clue, by the way, has nothing to do with the actual answer. But they were the USSR was around from 1922 to 1991. Hmm. Fun fact. That is a fun fact. <laughs> it's super fun. Now that, see, now they're changing their answers. Like, oh, okay. We're not changing our. We're not changing our answers. We yeah, need that, to write that, down the whole thing. Gotta write down the whole thing. Yeah. That would be a joke. All right. She doesn't get jokes a lot of times. Well, she's working. I know. She's in thinking mode. She's focused. Exactly. I don't blame her. She's All laser right. focused. So if you're, uh, if you're just tuning in, the question at hand that they're trying to figure out right now. If you're talking about the USSR, what do any of those letters represent? Back in the USSR. Oh, that's another clue from Mr. Paul McCartney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a clue for you guys. <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I the definitely want to hear over the, there. Okay. Definitely want to hear the whole thing. <laughs> okay, question number three. If you're talking about yeah. the USSR, what do any of those letters represent? All right, Sammy. Uh, the United System Society of Russia. <laughs> wow. Uh, one of those letters is the one I knew you would say. All right, and uh, menace. Well, it's the former Soviet Union. So, so Soviet Union. But you, what the USSR. Oh, and then the whole thing would be uh, United South uh, Region what? Soviet. I don't know. <laughs> so well, region. because they only needed to get one of those one. words correct, yeah, they I mean, both got. Yeah. Because she said United, right? She did. Mm, yeah. Yeah. But that's not what it Wait, is. Yeah, it's I union. Thought... Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Look at Seabass. I was, well, oh, I was wait, trying, but I, was, I got it. That's yeah, true. It. Nice. I was trying to be nice to say and, and I knew that one of them would... St- for the R would say Russia. And that's the one I thought. Yeah, Maybe. I mean, because yeah. that's the, I mean. Right, but that's not Russia. Greg, tell them the correct answer. Union of the Soviet Socialist Republics. Republics. Yeah. Whoa. Or republics. Mm. Republics. Oh, I thought it was republic. Mm. Well, because it's a bunch of different states. Republics. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, yeah. I'm getting now. But... Wait, they have states? <laughs> well, go- government. I, <laughs> well, yeah, Countries, I should say. All right, well, okay. here's well, Helena. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and her stab at it here. Question number three, DUIQ. If you're talking about the USSR, what do any of those letters represent? Um, I do know that the USSR was during World War II, um, and they were, you know, with Germany, which is not a sleigh. So do you know also what any of those true. letters mean? <laughs> United States huh. of the Republic of something. There's, ooh, I mean. Wow. She got a republic on that one? She was right in there. Yeah. I mean, uh, Damn. Yeah, that was so not slay, you know. <laughs> and yeah. by the way, uh, <laughs> Russia absolutely was not with Germany. In fact, they lost like 25 million people. Oh, no. Yeah, well, there's like your DUIQ for this Friday morning. Congratulations again to Mike. We're going to take a quick break, and then some more Woody Show is next. Hang on. The Woody Show. We'll be right back. 